Rome is known as the eternal city, but nothing really lasts forever. The city's famous skyline of pine trees is a case in point. Their existence is being threatened by a sap-sucking foreign invader. CBS's Chris Livesay is there. Now, you might think of Rome as a city of marble and stone, but with more than half of its surface covered in green spaces, well, it's very much a city of trees. That is if a voracious parasite isn't stopped. From the Roman Forum to the Colosseum and virtually anywhere else in the Eternal City, umbrella pines are as much a part of the landscape as the monuments they frame. But a killer bug from North America threatens to annihilate this natural and cultural heritage. They sound like little vampires. Yes, they are vampires. That's the correct, that's correct. They suck the protein and they push out the sugars. They're called pine tortoise scales and they're sucking the iconic pines dry of their precious lymph. A sticky mold then covers the needles. They fall off and then, after three years, the tree dies. Massimo Proietti Rocchi, a local activist, is spearheading a counterattack. Here in Europe, the parasites have no natural predators, so he's recruited a foreign army, these cute little ladybugs. In the soldiers of the war against the vampires. Each little bug costs yeah. one euro. But you just need uh, 20 bugs for one tree ju 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 to, 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 to remove the problem. Okay? And how long does it take for the ladybugs to do their magic? The ladybugs, it takes uh, around one year. Multiply all that by an estimated one million infected trees across Italy. These trees are all infected. These trees are all infected, yes. And it's a battle that can only be won with chemical warfare. Says agronomist Andrea Santa Croce, out here injecting insecticide needed once every two years. The trees in uh, one month, maximum two months, we can see restart. The new needle is start again to drain up the disease. It's gone. Just three months ago, these pines were on their deathbed. Now? Wow, so these trees look much better. Yes, absolutely. A small yet precious victory in a city that may be eternal, but with trees that are not. Now, some public money has been set aside for the pines, but due to COVID and budget cuts, the agronomist tells me it's only enough to save about 7% of them. Chris Livesay, CBS News, Rome.